Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. And today we're on the next beer from the Beer 52 Netherlands box from July 2020. And today we are going to be reviewing Bulldog. Now this is called Bulldog. It's an IPA coming in at 6%. It is from, I'm going to quickly, it's a Frontal Brewery in the Netherlands. And this is in a 330ml can. And let's get it out of the can and uh, get it into a glass and see what it's like, shall we? So this is a Bulldog IPA. I mean, obviously, going into this completely fresh, don't know much about it. Um, but, you know, like the other ones, I'm really, I'm looking forward to this because I've really, so far, I think this box has been brilliant. Really good, interesting, different beers. This one, look at it. Beautiful, lovely, orange, nice little one finger head. Pretty soft, soft looking head as well. Pretty compact, ambery color. Nice little carbonation. Let's get some aroma, shall we? Yeah, I mean, it's one thing about these beers from the Netherlands. They're not like massive juice bombs. They don't have that huge amounts of tropical flavors. There is fruity flavors, but it's almost like dialed down a little bit. It's not like in your face. It, you know, they, don't, they think we don't need to stand behind a massive big flavors and big smells like that. You know, we can just let the beer do for, do it for itself. So. We're getting a slight pineapple and tropical sort of smell, but it's very subtle. A little bit of uh, pininess, a little bit of uh, sort of earthiness, but it, but really sort of quite pleasant, but not not massively overpowering. A little bit understated. So let's drink it, shall we? Cheers, everyone. If it's one thing with these Netherlands beers, they just make really good beer. And there's no sort of, you know, showcase. Some of the beers that we've tried, you know, if you look back over the channel, some of them, you know, the ones that I'm, I'm, I gush over, they, they, they sort of come, come to you, you jump your throat and they just say, you drink me, I'm the best beer you're ever drinking. I'm a one-off beer. It's not a sort of beer that you're going to sort of drink 10 off in a night. But these beers are like, I think they've almost been made to be drank in a pub. You know, four, five, six beers and everyone, and you enjoy them. And this is what this one's about. Very soft, very light. Very sort of low levels of carbonation. Has a little bit of maltiness in there with the you know in terms of the the, the sort of flavor there's a fruitiness but there's no sort of over bitterness or it's not overly dry it's not overly bitter it's very very pleasant and very very drinkable and i think this is it with these beers they are the sort of beer that they're they're made to be drinkable they're made to be enjoyed in a, in a multiple opposed to a one-off um, and this is this is lovely I mean look at it I'm just looking at it it's, it's, it's a beautiful design beer and it looks just exactly what you want from a beer soft on the mouth you getting I'm getting more pineapple I suppose a pineapple very little in terms of citrus there's not like massives of fruit and there's no big passion fruits and ma mango there's no sharpness of grapefruit. It's almost like we're giving you a little bit of fruit, but you know, we want you to remember this is a beer you're drinking and not a fruit juice. And this is what this one's all about. Very pleasant, very nice. Nothing wrong with this at all. And very enjoyable. I mean, 6%, not bad. I'm getting a little bit more, I suppose, the pineapple and then you've got a bit more sort of orange a little bit of orange peel but it's it's a really really lovely and refreshing beer really good okay so let's get some scores in shall we okay so the scores are in for bulldog IPA, the brewery's Frontal Brewery in the Netherlands, 6%, 33, 330ml can, 
really lovely beer. So I'm going to also, we've got the, uh, when the in the box to this month, we've got the love corn and it's a salt and vinegar flavor. So here's the corn. I'll sh see you see there. Similar to the ones we've had last, last week. Crunchy, salty. To be honest, I'm drinking this beer and I'm eating these and I'm thinking, I miss pubs. I haven't been to a pub for three or four months. Miss them. And I want to go to pubs and drink craft beer. Because I haven't even drank craft beer in a pub. You know, that's how that's how long ago and when I started my craft beer journey. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get the scores. So, for the Bulldog, aroma, not overpowering. Not a massive aromas of the tropical fruits. There's a slight, slight undertow of it. So I'm giving it only 12 out of 20 for... Uh, the uh, aroma appearance it looks pretty nice lovely golden sort of amber you know you, you can see there's a nice bit of lacing along the glass there so pretty good 8 out of 10 flavour it's really really nice but it doesn't overpower in, any, in anything it just is a very very drinkable beer Lovely sort of slight fruity. There's a little bit of biscuity notes on there. Really, really nice. I'm giving it 34 out of 40. Value for money. Well, it's a small can, but it's 6%. So I'm giving it 7 out, even though it's, you know, we're working it out as three quid a can. I think it's really nice. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 for value for money. And in terms of overall experience, I really loved it. I think it's really nice. Similar to the Mosaic Hop one that I had. Um, also from the Beer 52 box, really, really drinkable, really, really sessionable. It's the sort of drink you want to drink, almost in a pint, two or three, three or four, you know, four or five, you know, wherever you're going with it. It's that sort of beer that you can really sort of enjoy, it, you know, multiples off. So I'm giving it 15 out of 20. So totting those scores up, we're getting a 76 out of 100. It's a white snake beer. It's a mid, mid-level white snake beer but really, really nice. So, Bulldog, Netherlands. So far, this is the third one I've tried from the Beer 52 box, and all of them have been good. There's nothing been anything bad about them. A little bit different, a little bit quirky, and we love that, and that's what we love about Beer 52. So, until the next video, keep on rocking.